안녕하세요. 안녕하세요, 여러분. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요, 토미입니다. 안녕하세요, 반갑습니다. 안녕하세요. 오늘은 모음에 대해서 배워볼 거예요. 안녕하세요, 여러분. 안녕하세요. 오늘은 모음에 대해서 이야기할 건데요. 여러분, 안녕하세요. 잘 보고 계시나요? 안녕하세요. 네, 안녕하세요, 여러분. 오늘은 모음에 대해서 이야기를 해볼 겁니다. 네, 한국어 모음에 대해서 여러분은 알고 계시나요? 네, 요 모음이라고 하면은 기초의 기초이기도 한데, 이거를 처음에 확실히 배워두지 않으면은 나중에 가면 정말 힘들어져요. 그러니까 이번에 확실히 이 모음이라는 게 무엇인지 네, 다 같이 공부하는 그런 시간을 가져보도록 하겠습니다. 네, 사람들이 지금 오고 있는 것 같은데요. 잠시만 기다려 보도록 하겠습니다. 네, 안녕하세요. 혹시 와주신 분들은 코멘트, 댓글 남겨주시면 감사하겠습니다. 네, thank you for coming. 안녕하세요. Yes, if you guys come, please uh, leave a uh, please you can send a comment message like 안녕하세요 or how are you or anything is fine. You can write uh, in the comment section, okay? Yes, you can write in the comment section. 안녕하세요. 여러분은 잘 지내고 계세요. 안녕하세요. 네, 지금 학생들이 많이 오고 있는 것 같은데 잠깐만 기다려 볼게요. 아, 아, 라나, 뭐하, 라나, 라나. 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. And army blink. Uh, you got this. <웃음> okay. <웃음> 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. 네, 또몇명 와주시고 있는 것 같은데 안녕하세요. 여러분 반갑습니다. 네, 자 이제 슬슬 시작해 보도록 할까요? 네, 아 당신이 그리워. <웃음> 라나 당신을 그리워. <웃음> oh, thank you, thank you. And and Nadim, uh, hello, yes, nice to meet you. Thank you for writing a comment uh, on your uh, comments, and I love to get all the comments from you guys. And you know, when I get the comments, I feel like I'm really taking a live lesson with you guys. You know, and yes, and Nina, Nina, I'm so excited for this. Oh, thank you so much, Nina, and. Uh, Mah Mahmadi, 안녕하세요, 선생님. 안녕하세요, Mahmadi. 반갑습니다. 네, 오늘도 같은 질문을 해볼게요. Today I'm going to give you the same question, like usual question I give you. 여러분은 어느 나라에서 이 라이브를 보고 있어요? What country are you watching the live? What country are you watching the live? 여러분은 어느 나라에서 이 라이브를 보고 있어요? What country are you watching the live? You can write it in English, Korean, anything is fine. You can write it, okay? 어느 나라에서 이 라이브를 보고 있어요? 어느 나라에서 이 라이브를 보고 있어요? 여러분은 어느 나라에서 이 라이브를 보고 있어요? What country are you watching the live? Yes, ah, oh, from Egypt. Oh, Rana, you're from Egypt? Wow, that's so impressive. I, I've i never had a student from Egypt. I think Egypt was my first time. <laughs> Thank you, Rana. And also Nina from, Nina from US and uh, Rose from Malaysia and Nadine from Pakistan. Yes, wow, all of our countries. Thank you so much for uh, joining me. Yes. And and uh, why do you uh, why do you guys are studying Korean? Uh, why do you guys are studying Korean? I have this question. Uh, why do you guys study? What, uh, do you have a reason to study Korean? Can you tell me the reason? Can you tell me? Can you tell me the reason to study Korean? Uh, okay, Korean. Okay, can you tell me the reason to study Korean. Uh, can you tell me uh, your reason why you are studying Korean? Can you tell me the reason to study Korean? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, 
Mahmadi, you are from Indonesia, and Handis, 안녕하세요, 반갑습니다. Yes, can you tell me the reason to study Korean? Can you tell me your reason? 왜 한국어를 공부하고 계시는지 알수 있을까요? 여러분이 왜 한국어를 공부하고 있는지 알수 있을까요? Oh, Rana said, uh, because of my love for it as a language and also desire to visit Korea someday. Oh, yes, yes, I totally understand. You want to visit Korea someday, right? Yes. Uh, and... And also, oh, yes, I, can you tell me the reason? Yes. And, ah, Nadim, uh, you want to go to Korea for studies? And Rose, uh, you want to challenge yourself? Oh, Rose, you're 53 years old. Oh, but I feel uh, uh, old this year, but you feel young. <laughs> Rose, uh, Rose, oh, thank you for saying, thank you for telling me. And, uh, uh, Alita, Alita, Alita Baker. Oh, thank you for coming again. Uh, you work with a co-worker who is Korean. Oh, okay. And Handis, you want to work in Korea. 한국에서 일하고 싶어요. And Nina, talk with friends so they feel more comfortable. Yes, Nina, yes, that's right. When they, when you can speak Korean, they feel more comfortable, right? Wow, can you, wow, there are many reasons that you are studying Korean. I was very impressed. And uh, okay, then let's practice. Let's practice this one before we start the session. Uh, 여러분은 나이가 어떻게 되세요? 여러분은 나이가 어떻게 되세요? How old are you? You can write it. Uh, you can write just a number, or you can write it in sign numbers in Korea. Uh, sign numbers in Korean as well. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but if uh, the, if you feel numbers is easier, then you can just write a number. Okay, 너, 여러분은 나이가 어떻게 되세요? 여러분은, 아, Karishma, thank you for the comment. You're from India. 네, 여러분은 나이가 어떻게 되세요? How old are you? 여러분은 나이가 어떻게 되세요? 아, 네, 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 네. 아, Rana, you said 17년. 아, 17년 means 17 years, not 17 years old. Okay, so you say, uh, 17, 17살. You say, 17살. Okay, you say, 17살. Okay, out. Uh, you say, uh, 17살. Okay, 17살. And, 17살. 17살. And, Nina, you are 27 years old. So, in Korean, you say, 27살. 네, 니나, you are 27살. 네, 27살이에요. 니나, 저는 27살이에요. 저는 27살이에요. And, Pale, Pale, you are 28 years old. So, 28, 28살이에요. 28살이에요. Okay, Pale, you can say 28살이에요. 28살이에요. 28 years old. 28 years old. And, and, oh, many of you are writing it right now. Good. 저는 19살, 19살. 네, 잘 쓰셔, 쓰셨어요. And this, you, your writing is good. 저는 19살. Yes, good. 19살. And, Rana, 17살이에요. Yes, good. 17살이에요. Good. And, Nadim, you are 21 years old. So, you can say, 스물한 살이에요. 저는 스물한 살이에요. Okay, you can you can speak after me as well. 스물두 살이 스물한 살이에요. 스물한 살이에요. Oh, and also Mahmadi 서른두 살이에요. Oh, perfect writing. 서른두 살이에요. Wow, good. <laughs> yes, great writing. Amazing. I'm so impressed. Okay, thank you for telling your age. And now uh, I will start the lecture. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and uh, my name is Tami and I'm a Korean I'm a Korean teacher. But before I am a Korean teacher, I used to be an interpreter of English, Korean, and Japanese. I also lived in the United States for six years. Uh, five years and three years in Los Angeles and two years in San Francisco. 
and I was also uh, I lived in Korea for ten years, and uh, right now I'm in I'm living in Japan, teaching Korean to Japanese students. Okay, and I will move on. Okay, the goal of my lessons is uh, is is to help you master beginner level of Korean. But beginner level can be very vague, right? What's the definition? Like, what's the clear definition? My clear definition of beginner level is this. Uh, you can pass topic level two, okay? So, but some of you might wonder, like, what is topic? <laughs> what is topic from the beginning, right? What's the topic, right? Uh, hold on. What's the topic from the beginning? So uh, topic means okay. Uh, topic means test of proficiency in Korean. If you are thinking about living in Korea or if you want to work in Korea, you definitely need this test. Okay. So uh, uh, if you can watch my whole series of beginner level, you can pass topic level two. And I'm making this video in Japanese versions as well. And Japanese students already proved that they are taking the test and they proved that they passed the test. So uh, you can also trust me on that and then you can constantly study and then you can pass topic, okay? And and today's topic is Korean vowels. So today I will teach you how to read and write Korean vowels. And you can also you can also have a writing practice as well. So if you can prepare a note and a pen, that would be great when we start the writing practice. Okay, but if you don't have note and a pen, that's also okay. You can just write it uh, in front of a screen, okay? And oops. And then uh, first, I will talk about the pronunciation of Korean. So, Korean pronunciation, you have to follow five steps to understand Korean pronunciation. Those are basic sounds, aspirated sounds, tense sounds, very like strong sounds and combined vowels and final consonants. After you learn these five steps, you can master Korean pronunciations. So when you read the letters, you can pronounce it properly, okay? So today we are focusing on basic sounds, step one, okay? So uh, let's move on, okay, so basic, so there's a in the basic sounds has two things basic vowels and basic consonants and we are going to work on basic vowels today and basic vowels like some of you might not know about vowels like what's vowels i've never heard you know <laughs> if you've never learned language before maybe you don't know about the definition of vowels itself you know vowel what's that you know <laughs> So vowels is a, e, e, o, u. Those are vowels. And other sounds are called consonants. Consonants. Okay? So consonants uh, can be other sounds. So K, T, B, M, C, anything can be consonants other than A, I, A, E, I, O, U. Okay? So you can understand vowels and consonants, right? Today we are going to learn vowels, okay? Okay, so uh, uh, I will show you the Hangul, when you look at the Hangul table, there are 140 kinds of sound. So you're gonna be like, what? 140? That's a lot. Goodbye, Tammy. Right? Ah, don't go! I will say, don't go yet! <laughs> if you see, if it's like 140 kinds of sound, you're gonna be like, oh, I will stop learning Korean, right? But don't go yet. Please hear me out. So yeah, but you just have to need to remember 24 characters. So, so 24 characters means less than English characters, right? 
English has 26 letters. So 24 characters means less than English. And uh, 140 letters in the Hangul table means this. Can you see the upper part? That's the vowel, right? Upper part is the vowel. And we have 10 vowels in Korean. And when you look at the orange part, that's the consonants. You can see it's a little bit too tiny, so it's, it could be a little bit hard for you to see it, but you can see K, TIG, K, N, TIG, D, L, MI, UM, like that. Those are consonants. So Korean are made up with the combining these like vowels and consonants like this. Okay, like this. <laughs> okay, that's how you make Korean letters. So, so I told you 140 letters in the Hangul table because you use 10 vowels and 14 consonants. So that's why 10 times 14 equals 140, okay? But you just have to memorize 10 vowels and 14 consonants. So you just have to memorize in total of 24 characters. Crystal clear? <laughs> Crystal clear? Do you guys understand so far? Yes. Do you guys are following me? Do you guys are following me? So far, so good. Okay. So far, so good. <laughs> Rose, good. So far, so good. Okay, good. I'm happy to hear that. Okay, let's go. Let's move on. So, so I told you there are 10 Korean vowels. Those are A, Ya, A, Ya, u, yo, u, yu, u, e. So those are 10 Korean basic vowels. Okay, let's pronounce it. Let's pronounce it again. Ah, and you can you can read it after me, okay? <clears throat> I like you guys to participate, even though this is a live lesson, you know, in front of the screen. Please read it out loud. That's the way you can improve your Korean. Okay, let's say it again. A, ya, a, ya, u, yo, u, yu, u, e. Okay. So, uh, so before I begin to the pronunciation part, I will tell you how to write Korean. Are you ready for a pen and a notebook? Okay. <laughs> Are you ready for a pen and a notebook? Yeah, if you have those, uh, you can practice writing uh, with me, but also you can write it with your hands like this, you know, in the air, uh, uh, like this. So, so if you don't have it, it's okay. But the, you have to understand the basic, uh, basic principle of writing Korean. It's always from left to right, top to bottom. Left to right, top to bottom left to right, top to bottom. Okay, I got a question from Olivia. Uh, sixth vowel, isn't it similar to American yo? Yes, exactly. Yes, that's a good question. In English, yo is, yo is also considered as vowel, okay? And like Olivia, uh, uh, sorry, Oliver, Olivera, Olivera, like Olivera, if you guys come up with any questions during my lecture, you guys can ask me like this, okay? And yes, so so how to write Korean is left to, uh, left to right, top to bottom, all the time. You don't go like right to left. It's always left to right, top to bottom, okay? So um, let's move on. And uh, um, Ab Abigail, 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 Abigail asked me this question. Uh, am I late? No, we just started. <laughs> okay, we just started, so you're not late. Okay. And uh, let's move on. Uh, okay. So the, you, did you did you get the basic principle? Okay, left to right, top to bottom. Okay. So wait, 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 let's start writing together. When you write a, uh, you make a circle. Okay, just circle. Um, you can write it in the counterclockwise. Ah, well, this is this is ilm, right? Just a circle, and then you make a you make a vertical line from top to bottom, and then after that you make a short line from left to right. Okay, that was ah, that was ah. Let's write it together. Ah, 
Do you get it? <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, okay. Next, you write ya. Ya is like you make a circle again, and then uh, you make the vertical line first, and after that, you make a short horizontal line. And then you make one more short horizontal line from left to right. Okay, so yeah. Okay, let's write it together. Yeah. Okay. And and the next one is all right. All you make a circle, and you make a short horizontal line left to right, and after that you make a vertical line. From top to bottom, and it's pronounced ah. And when you pronounce ya, you make a circle and you make a short horizontal line. And again, you make a short horizontal line left to right. And then you make a long vertical line top to bottom. So you yo. Let's write it together. Ya. Okay. Next is o. You make a circle on uh, around the top part, o, okay, and then you make a short vertical line, and then you make the horizontal line, like this, okay, and you you make a circle again, and you make a short horizontal short uh, vertical line, and one more short vertical line, and one long horizontal line. Left to right, okay. So yo, yo, okay. And the next is gonna be u. So you make a circle again, number one, right? And after that, you make a long horizontal line, and then you make the long vertical line, top to bottom, u. Mm. Like this. Uh, right now, like I'm mirroring. I'm uh, my 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 video is like mirroring. So this one is the correct one. Okay. The next is you. Okay. You make a circle again, and you make a horizontal line, long one, and then you write it uh, sh a little bit shorter uh, vertical line, and one more vertical line. It's you. It's you. Are you guys writing it? Let's write it together. You. Okay. Next is U. You make a circle. And then you just uh, make the horizontal line. U. Let's write it. U. U. Okay. Next is going to be E. And this is going to be the last one. You make a circle and you make a long uh, vertical line. So it's going to be E. E. Okay, so you learned how to write Korean vowels so far. So let's pronounce it uh, vowels. Please pronounce it after me, okay? Ah, you open your mouth wide. Ah, 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 ah. So it's very big, right? <laughs> My mouth is very big. Ah, so it's it's gonna be like this, and then it's like a you up. It's it is like you open your mouth in in the dent, dental office, like ah, you make you make a big mouth, right? In the dental office, ah, so you make a big mouth, okay? Ah, 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 okay. The next is gonna be yeah, yeah. It's also the same. You open your mouth wide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Repeat after me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And next one, it's all. Oh. You drop your jaw, but also uh, you just make your mouth big. Ah, ah, ah. Repeat after me. Ah. Oh. Ah, ah. Okay, the next is ya. You also drop your jaw. Ya, ya, ya. 
So um, it is like a, um, uh, it is also like dropping a job. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of suddenly doze off. Okay, uh, can you repeat after me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the next one is oo. Oo, you make a small circle with your lips and kind of stick your mouth out, stick stick it out like oo. O, O, repeat after me. O, O, O. Okay. And the next is gonna be you. You, you make a small circle with your lips, like you, you, you. Okay. And U, you also make a small circle with your lips, like and sticking it out. Ooh. 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 Okay? And you also the same. Make a small circle with your lips. You. 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 And repeat after me. You. 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 Okay? And uh, pull, you pull your mouth horizontally like uh. Uh, uh. So it's like you are making a big smile, right? Uh, uh. Can you say? Uh, uh, uh. And E, pull your mouth horizontally as well. Like E, E, E. So when you pronounce E, you automatically make a smile like E. So when we take a picture, Korean people usually say kimchi, right? Ah, oh, one, two, three, kimchi. <laughs> Korean people say like that because when you make kimchi, you smile automatically. Chi, right? Chi. Okay, uh, so kimchi, you make it like that. Okay, uh, I got a comment from uh, uh, Rames. Rames, uh, Sonsenim, can you make collection of ta hada verbs, please? Uh, I will do it later. Okay, uh, uh, I will uh, I will answer these questions later. Uh, but currently, now I'm teaching vowels, basic vowels. Okay, uh, but thank you for the questions. Okay, and. Yes, E is like this one, E, okay. So, so uh, to sum up, when you pronounce ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah, you open your mouth wide, ah, uh, or well, ah, uh, like this, okay? But then when you pronounce ooh, yo, ooh, you, you push your lips forward and make a small circle, like ooh, yo, ooh, you. And ooh, uh, E, you pull your mouth horizontally, like E, e, e. Okay, so let's say it again. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah, oh, yo, oh, you, e, e. Yes. Uh, did you repeat after me? <laughs> Yes, so let's do it again. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah, oh, yo, ooh, you, uh, e. Okay, I have one more pro one more thing to practice while you. Ah, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, ooh, yo, ooh, you, ooh, e. Okay, I think that's it for today. Yes, and yes, uh, I will answer all of your questions and I will switch the screen. Hold on. <laughs> okay.
Okay. And like this. Okay. I, I have to. I, okay. So, how was it? Uh, okay. Uh, Ah, uh, yes, 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 uh, yes. In the States, we say cheese when taking pictures, right? Cheese, E sounds, is very similar to Korean E sound. So Korean, it said one, two, three, kimchi. <laughs> okay, so you, you remember the character, E sound, E, okay, kimchi. Oh, and also, Oliver, Olivera, are you going to upload the video on your channel after you finish the live stream? Yes, I always um, upload the video afterwards, so don't worry. Okay, so, so I have a question to you guys. I have a quiz to you guys. So, quiz here. What is going to be your mouth shape when you pronounce ah? I'm showing you right now, but ah, when you pronounce ah, you can write the number. When you pronounce ah, like what is going to be your mouth shape? Okay, so one, pull your mouth horizontally. Two, open your mouth wide. Okay, and yes, uh, what is going to be your mouth shape when you pronounce ah? Like one, pull your mouth horizontally. Two, open your mouth wide. Open your mouth wide. Uh, yes. So you can you can write one or two. Yeah, you can write one or two. Okay. So what do you guys think when you pronounce ah? Yes. It's number one, pull your mouth horizontally, or two, open your mouth wide. What do you guys think? Two. Hand this to, and yeah, Nina two. Hand this to Olivera one, and Olivera two. Oh, Olivera changed to two. Yes, the answer is two. Yes, open your mouth wide. Uh, Abiga, Abiga, Abig, 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 two. Yes, ah, right, ah. Open your mouth wide, ah. When you pull your mouth horizontally, you pronounce U or E, okay? U or E. I got the question. Okay, so I have a bit of hard time with Ian. O, O and U, U sound, U and U sound, Nina. O and U, O, U sound, maybe. O, U. Yes, and yes, and uh, uh, Hilda, Hilda was too. Yes, good. I'm happy with. I'm happy that you guys answered the right question. Uh, right, and oh, hold on. Okay, and and the next one is this. Next quiz is this. How many vowels are in Korean? How many vowels are in Korean? Number one, 10. Number two, 15. Number three, 20. So we we learned, we did like vowels, right? So how many vowels are in Korean? One is 10, two is 15, three is 20. Like how many vowels do we have in Korea? Uh, Oli, Olivera, one. Nina, one. Uh, yes, you guys are answering now. Uh, Rivera one, and Nunya one, and uh, uh, Rames one. Yes, is there an uh, Ab Abigail one? Yes, oh my god, you guys are very um, diligent students. And also, oh, uh, Saber Kite, oh, thank you for coming. You press two, but the answer is one, ten, ten. Yes. Korean has 10 vowels, which are a, ya, o, yo, u, yu, u, uh, uh, a, ya, o, yo, u, yo, u, yu, u, i. Okay, yes, so we have 10 vowels. Okay, and I have one more question, one more quiz for you guys. Okay, so how many letters do you have to memorize in Korean? 20, number one, 26. 
Number two, 140, 23, 24. How many, letter, how many letters do you have to memorize in Korean? Number one, 26 letters. Number two, 140 letters. Number three, 24 letters. Yes, you can write just the number one, two, three, okay? Uh, Hilda, one, 26. Okay, oh, 20, uh, Saber Kite, 26. Oh, many of you <laughs> answered 26. Okay, who else? Uh, who else do you have? Um, how many letters do you have to memorize in Korea? And Nina said number three. Yes, and Abigail, number three. Yeah, so how many letters do you have to memorize? Oh, Olivera, number three. Yes, there are number one and number three, right? The answer is number three, 24 letters. 26 letters, 26 letters are English, okay? 24 letters are in Korean, okay? So actually, uh, Korean letters are less than English letters. So, uh, so actually, Learning Korean is not that difficult, <laughs> okay? Learning Korean is not that difficult. Okay, so yes, that's all. That's the all quiz I have, and and yes, I'm receive. Uh, I will answer questions from you guys. You can answer that. You can ask me questions about this lesson and about the ten Korean vowels or any Korean any Korean questions. Okay, you can ask me now. And uh, while you are typing, while I'm waiting, I will have announcement. And yes, I uploaded the past topic test on my website. So if you are interested in topic, you can come to visit my website. And my website is learningkorean.com topic. You can take free mock tests on my website. And also, if you look at, if you go to my website, there are a lot of free texts, like free vocabulary text or free Hangul table. You saw Hangul table today, right? Those are all free on my website, so you can check and download it. Okay, and uh, as I said before the lessons, if you study my elementary course series, uh, 40 series, you can pass topic level two. And all of uh, already some of students are passing topic level two through my elementary course series. So uh, the more you study, I'm sure you can pass the topic level two, okay? So uh, I hope you study hard. And the next one, and if you uh, currently I'm uploading intermediate course series, and the total is going to be 66 lessons. And if you study those, my lessons, you can pass topic level four. Okay. And also, if you go to my website, you can read through, through all the script on my website. So if you like to study through my uh, through my text. You can also do that on my website. Okay, and the next lesson is going to be November 10th, Thursday, 11 a.m. Korean time. I hope to see you, many of you, next time as well. Okay, and yes, that's the announcement I have, and let's see some of you, uh, some of you had a question, so okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, so uh, Olivera, you said, I have trouble with all when pronouncing it with the consonants such as kanadara mapasa, kanadara mapasa. I have trouble with all when pronouncing it with consonants such as ka, ka, right? Ka. Ka, no, mo, pa, like that, right? Is there an easy way to remember it? Uh, yes, uh, I think it, you, you can download the, the Korean table from my website. So if you can remember, if you can constantly pronounce it from left from left to right, like ka, na, ta, la, ma, pa, sa, like that, then you can understand the sound as well. Like ka, in, this, in the case of ka, it's going to be Ka, ka uh, sorry, I have to check the 
let me check the call case. Kanadara Mapasa is pretty common, but then when it comes to call, uh, let's see the table. I will pull the table right now. So in the case of call, right? Oh, hold on. Uh, uh, in the case of call, call, you, you can go like this. Call, no, pa, la, ma, pa, sa, o, ta, ta, ka, like that. Uh, by doing that, you can remember the sound and also the pronunciation, okay? And once you understand the basic of the letters, I highly recommend you start reading Korean vocabulary, like, Kagu furniture, kasu a singer, kayo singing or like that. Then you can understand how those how those letters are used in real words. Okay, and uh, okay, uh, saber kite. Will you also talk about the combination of vowels or final vowels sounds? That confuses me too. Uh, okay, uh, today we are not gonna talk about this, but uh, we're gonna talk about it uh, later classes. Uh, combination vowels, I think you're talking about uh, uh, hapsong charm, like wa or we or ui, right? I will talk about it the next lessons, okay? And Ah, yes, Hilda, and can you please explain the G and K when those it sounds like? Okay, so uh, so K and G are consonants, and you can write it kyo, right? And actually, Korean people also um, doesn't have the, like, this, uh, Korean people also have the specific way of saying it, when it comes to K or G, sometimes they say G, sometimes they say K. So it depends on like a person's, but uh, personally, I usually say kimpap. When we say kimpap, 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 I pronounce with K sound. I pronounce with K sound, like, uh, okay, kimpap. I pronounce with K sound, kimpap, kimpap, kimpap. But when I say, uh, but when K sound, what like key out sound comes after 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 the after the second letter, uh, second letter, it's going to be G. So it's going to be um, it's going to be uh, mogato uh, kiga chata um, ki ka kimpabi. So, for example, if I say Tomi ga choayo, if I say Tomi ga choayo, okay, if I say Tomi ga choayo, Tomi ga choayo, in this case, Tomi ga ga came in the middle, came, came at the end of the word, right? So you pronounce G. Tomi ga choayo, you pronounce as G, G sound. So if K, came in the first, it came in the beginning of a letter. In that case, you pronounce as K. Kyo comes in the beginning of the letter, you pronounce K. But if K comes in the middle or at the end of a letter, you pronounce G. Like, pomi ga choyo, I pronounce with the G sound. And kimpap, I pronounce with K sound because ki, kimpap, ki, kyo sound come in the beginning. Okay. Okay, and uh, and okay, and yes, and uh, Rose, uh, Rose said, uh, practice pronouncing and also practice writing over and over again. Yes, that's the way you can improve your Korean, right? And yes, so G is like a gun. K, it's a funny way to remember. Yeah, some of you remember K, 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 <laughs> K, new. It's more like new, right? But K as a gun, 
Some of you remember K as a gun, Kia as a gun, but you can use gun like this and it can be noon too. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, yes. Do you guys have any more questions? Yes. Do you have any more questions? Any Korean related questions? A anything is okay? Uh, yes, uh, uh, Saber, Saber Kite, uh, you asked me the combined vowel about the combined vowels, right? Uh, maybe uh, next next lessons, uh, I will teach you combined vowels. Uh, I will show you. Uh, yes, uh, today we learned Korean vowels, so maybe next, next, next. Time, I will teach you combined vowels. Yes. So, like three weeks later, I will teach combined vowels. Yes. So, I guess you guys don't have any more Korean questions. I hope you memorize all the 10 Korean vowels, which are a, ya, a, ya, o, yo, u, yu, u, i. Okay, so keep writing, keep pronouncing it. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, so Rose, uh, thank you for coming. Fun learning with everyone. See you next time. Thank you, Tommy teacher. Yes, thank you so much for coming. I will teach you next time. 그럼 오늘도 uh, hold on. I will give, I will greet at the end. <laughs> 그럼 오늘도 행복 가득 웃음 가득한 하루 되세요. 한국어 파이팅 파이팅 파이팅. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. <laughs>